If you pray with us a few minutes, we will only take a few minutes. But while you pray with us, we do need you to pray for us. And for a few minutes, we'd like to call your attention to the Lord's Gospel as recorded by Luke, the 23rd chapter, verse 26. You should find these words. And as they led him away, they laid upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid a cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. I emphasis for a few minutes, bearing the cross. Bearing the cross. This is one of the records of Jesus on the way to the place of crucifixion. In our text, Christ is being led to this place of crucifixion. And as was the tradition then, the accused has carried his own cross to the place of execution. It was a terrible sight. The accused would drag those cruel, heavy crosses on his shoulder of However he could drag it. However, since Christ had been through some rough experiences, physically being abused and beaten through the night, the soldiers in obvious recognition of Christ's deleted strength, compelled the man sign of Serene from the crowd of onlookers and made him carry the cross for Jesus. And this is a country, this is a place in Africa. He was from Africa. This work by Simon is a good picture of service for the Lord. Simon compelled to carry the cross. But when you continue to read and you look at biblical and history, you find out that it's evident eventually he did not have regrets for having carried the cross. The first thing I want to emphasize real quickly, the service was humbling. All right, all right. Laid on upon sight. Or on him they laid the cross. Right. Simon has come to Jerusalem for the Passover observance, like many had. He was one of the crowd that watched as three men were being taken to be crucified. Yes, and he was grabbed by the Roman soldier and made to carry the cross of Christ who was condemned and mocked. It was a most humbling experience that illustrates well how humble, humbling living for the Lord can be when you humble yourself Matter of fact, if you want to really live for him, you need a humble spirit. Serving and living for 
of the Lord is not portrayed by the world as being honorable. Sin is portrayed by Satan as being macho. If for some reason Satan builds up and makes people think that when they do certain things, especially against the Lord, makes them feel macho. People get praised more for doing those things that Satan won't than they do for doing for the Lord. Matter of fact, we are in a time now where they are trying to make a mockery out of actually doing right. When you do right, you don't get credit for doing right. But you can do wrong, stand on wrong, lie, pretend, and act like you're somebody, and get a pat on the back. This service was humbling. Just as they were doing then, just as Jesus was tried illegally, it was a mocking trial. It was a trial that was an unjust trial. And, and those who were in charge made sure that the right evidence didn't come forth. Right. Is that right? Jesus had not done anything wrong. But it made it sound like he had done everything wrong. It, it reminds me of what a, we're facing today. It's just the opposite. There's some wrong been done. But we have some people who are testifying and witnessing to the fact that the wrong that was done was not really wrong. And the one that could testify to the right won't be allowed to testify. They had false witnesses against Jesus. I didn't hear them call Lazarus to testify that he raised me from the dead. I didn't hear them call the blind man to testify and say, I don't know how he did it, but one thing I know, I once was blind, but now I can see. I didn't hear them call that multitude that was out on the mountainside and got hungry, had no food. And he took a little boy's lunch and fed 5,000 men beside the women and children and they had some leftovers. I didn't hear him call him or them. But it was an humbling service. Secondly, the service was hard. It said lay on him. They laid the cross on him. The cross was heavy and unwell. It was a very, it was difficult to carry. It was dragged by most. For to carry and balance it on your shoulder was not, was next to impossible. For the cross was a heavy piece of wood. All right. It was not light aluminum. It was not made of plastic. It was ugly. And it was hard to carry. What I want to say, Christian service and living for God is, is not always easy. It can be hard. It takes strength. Not just ours, but strength from God. To actually live for the Lord. If you want to live for him, you can't do it in your own strength. Carrying a cross was no easy task. It has always been a most difficult chore. It never was easy 
And what I'm saying today is that when you want to stand on right, it's not always easy. When you want to stand up for what is right, it's not always easy. And then I want you to remember what we just reflected on. It's not even always easy to get to the pole to vote. Sometimes it seems hard, but it needs to be done. The service was hard. It was hard for Simon to carry that cross that Jesus was having to carry. Sometimes just because it's hard does not mean it's impossible. I need us to know no matter what's happening in our world now, no matter what happens in the county, it may seem harder every day, but when you have the right help, no matter how hard it is, you'll be able to carry that cross. I'm glad that we have someone we can depend on when we're having to bear our cross. My cross may not be like your cross. Your cross may not be like mine. But, but if you've been born again, you have a cross you have to carry. Third man, the service was honorable. It was not only humbling, it was only, not only hard, but it was honorable. It says, on him they laid the cross. Simon, at one point when they first called him, may have wished he was somewhere else when they first saw him. Or he may have wished that he were Pilate or Herod or even one of the priests who led the proud mocking Jesus. But today, he thinks differently. Carrying a cross actually was his finest hour. Do you not know you can't talk about Jesus crucifixion. You really can't talk about Jesus carrying the cross without, without remembering what Simon did. Is that right? They may have never had heard of him when, before they compelled him. But now whenever you pick up your Bible and you talk about the crucifixion, you can't leave Simon out. Simon has carried the cross. The soldiers, Pilate, Herod, and the priests could all wish they had carried the cross instead of mocking Christ. Time puts a different perspective on serving God. It is honorable, and his honorable is not hard when you allow him to really help. It seems hard, and a lot of times it does get difficult, but we have Help that surpasses all help. Simon was able to help carry that cross. He was compelled. But you read that he had two sons. And one of the sons Paul makes mention of as being one of the pillars of the church. That tell me that carrying that cross had an effect on Simon. And Simon had an effect on his truth. Yes. It may seem hard right now. Right. And I know you've been patient. So I'm going to go on and close. Okay. The service was honored. Yes. As I get ready to conclude, it said in the text, and as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon. A serenity coming out of the country. And on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. In conclusion, allow me to state these facts for today's probing questions. The cross is the answer to all of our difficult problems. All of our difficult problems, the cross is the solution. Mass confusion, the cross is the way out. 
deep in darkness. The cross is the light. Hurting hearts. The cross is the remedy. Dying thirst. The cross is the way. So if you're tired of experiencing a night without a rest, a heart without joy, a mind without peace, a life without contentment, a home without harmony, a battle without a victory. And if you were tired of experiencing a future without any hope, I come to tell you today there is a cross and you will never be disappointed when your bad is cross. I'm convinced that's why we sing the song that must, and ask that question, must Jesus, must Jesus bear a cross alone? And all the world will free. No, no, there is a cross for everyone. There is a cross for me. In the cross, we can see God remedy for this ruined world. In the cross, we see God's cure for the curse that's in this world. In the cross, we see hope for the hopeless. And even on Capitol Hill, in the cross, there is hope. In the cross, there's love for the lost. There's a blessing for the burden. There's an answer for anxiety. There's help for the helpless. There's a concern for the corrupt. There's a plan. For the pitiful, there's redemption for the ruthless. In the cross, we can find an answer. In the cross, you got to be willing to carry your own cross. Simon carried the cross to help Jesus. I want you to know today, all of us. That they have to bear. If you bear that cross, I know a man that went to Calvary Hill. He knows what it is. Thank you. 
Thank you. 